of the Green Party. We're doing two Facebook Lives, I think, at the same time. Uh, I am with William uh, from uh, Standing Rock uh, in the States, who's over here. We're outside uh, at Preston uh, New Road. You can hear the, the cars going by, hooting, teaching their support, uh, with a load of protesters at the site where uh, Quadrilla, Quadrilla are now doing exploratory fracking. Um, William, tell me why you're here. I'm here to empower encourage and enlighten the people here. I know that the community here has been struggling with this for the past six years. You guys have been fighting against this for the past six years. So I'm here to relight that flame that, 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 that's that been dimming because I know that it's difficult to fight a fight whenever you feel defeated, especially whenever you have a police force like this that are constantly against you, constantly pushing yeah. you down and constantly harming, bringing harm to the people. A man just got hit, you know, that, that scares people, that, that, that puts fear in people. Well, I'm here to encourage them. You know what? We got injured. We got hurt in Standing Rock, but we still stood up for what was right. Yeah. Yeah. So, William, do you see a lot of similarities with what's going on here uh, with what happened in, in Standing Rock? Similarities as far as the, the government being protective of uh, the natural gas companies, the, the, the oil companies, the fracking companies, the mining companies. Yeah, I see, very, I see a lot of similarities. Uh, the only difference is I don't see these guys with, uh, I don't see a militia style police force here, <laughs> which I mentioned earlier. Uh, no guns. No guns. <laughs> but I heard that they certainly like to kick and punch and, and hurt, bring harm to people. People have, uh, have uh, broken ribs, broken bones, broken hands, broken wrists. Uh, simply by being brutally attacked by these guys right here. Okay. Yeah. So, so tell me, there'll be people watching that won't know about Stanley Rock, there'll be people that know all about it, but so for those that don't know, um, tell us a bit about what happened there. Okay, so Standing Rock is, uh, it's, 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 it's my reservation where my people live, uh, Hunkpapa, we, we're called Hunkpapa Lakota, and where Standing Rock is located is in North Dakota. It's a reservation that is in North Dakota and South Dakota. Very, very large, large, uh, uh, I should say, not reservation. Uh, and uh, oil company proposed to build a pipeline through our treaty territory and uh, in the United States treaty territory is the law of the land that is that's in the Constitution of the United States so the, the, the treaty is is our territory the oil company proposed to build this pipeline it was approved by the United States government uh, when Barack Obama was in office and it was pushed through by Trump and uh, we fought against it. We were there on the ground just like this. We were always on the front lines. We were always pushing against. The police are the distraction. And we knew that in Standing Rock. The police were the distraction. We were against an oil company. We weren't against our government. We weren't against the police. We, was, we were against this oil company because they were, were the ones who were making our government a corporate entity. And we wanted to take that back. This is our government. We own that government. That's our government. And, and we're going to take back our government. And that's what people need to be doing here. You got to take back your government because it's being bought out simply by oil companies. Uh, and can yeah. you give us a bit of a sense of the, the consequences of the fracking that, that went on and how it uh, impacted? Well, the fracking is actually taking place further south, south. in yeah. Oklahoma. Uh, and up north, it's nothing but pipelines yeah. and oil wells. Um, the oil wells completely destroyed North yeah. Dakota. North Dakota, you know, it's, it's destroyed. But in Oklahoma, you were telling me earlier. Yeah, yeah about, fracking, yeah. the fracking wells. Um, so in Oklahoma, we have fracking. Uh, Oklahoma's further south, just north of Texas. And we've had fracking going on there for nearly over, I don't know, 15 years. And the, what, what we increase of uh, contaminated water. Our lakes were being contaminated. The land was being contaminated. Uh, and, on our, and, and our ability to actually grow uh, on that land um, was, was no longer an option. We can't, we can't grow on a lot of our lands in Oklahoma because of that fracking, because of, the, because of the damage it's done. Now we're beginning to discover that once they took all those chemicals, once they took all the, 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 shell, the shell out, they replaced it with, with radioactive material. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Now that was interesting. We were literally just hearing earlier on someone's been done a bit of digging, it turns out this might be a potential site, or we've been heard and yeah. told it might be a potential site. Uh, for putting nuclear waste, so we're going to go away and investigate and see, you know, how much truth there is to that. Yeah. Um, but you start to see the links, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Nuclear. I mean, what? It's like Big Brother does this. Little Brother is <laughs> going to go ahead and follow yeah. along because Big Brother got away with it. And yeah. And now you were telling me earlier about the young people uh, being the the crucial element yeah. to the campaign. Well, Standing Rock started out with the young people. Yeah. Standing Rock started out with the young people, and they're the ones. They were the front forefront of that movement. They, they started that movement. It wasn't the elder, it wasn't, you know, it was the youth. And 
they were the ones that empowered us because they told us you guys need to help protect us and our future yeah we're gonna stand up and we're gonna we're gonna fight if you guys don't stand up with us then that's your choice but we're going to be here and so that was the most empowering thing for a, a lot of us from all over the world I mean people from all over the world went to center up because of our youth yeah and the, their love for the water their love for the land and and so I encourage the youth here in the UK you know get out get out of your homes get off your video games get out of your cars <laughs> and 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 really do your research on what fracking is do your research on what oil companies are doing to your land this is your land it doesn't belong to them this is your land you are the stewards of the land William thank you very you much indeed on, yeah we're gonna have one more question <laughs> you were talking you were explaining to John yeah. about how the land is now unstable with earthquakes and sinkholes did you get that question we, I don't think William said that this time but you were saying it earlier oh, yeah, 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 yeah tell us a bit about that as well yeah if you're just joining us on Facebook live uh, we are on Preston New Road uh, this is the site where Quadrilla are in Lancashire, where Quadrilla are doing some exploratory fracking. Uh, that's about, uh, I'm going to have this closer, <laughs> it's about uh, a mile uh, of shale um, rock uh, beneath here uh, that they're drilling down four test sites into. Uh, William is telling me about the um, experiences from the States yeah. uh, in Standing Rock and the inspirational campaign that you fought against the pipeline and also what's been going on in Oklahoma uh, to do with fracking. So tell us a bit more, William, about the uh, earth tremors. Uh, so, so in Oklahoma, we, there are aren't any flat, um, fault lines in Oklahoma. Uh, there's there, there aren't any uh, calderas. There's no um, there's no fault movement in Oklahoma. But we have earthquakes every single day, uh, from 3.5 to 5.5 earthquakes, which are medium to relatively strong earthquakes. This is from fracking. The land is literally collapsing on itself, in on itself. We're gonna have sinkholes. We do have sinkholes in Oklahoma. We have sinkholes in Texas because of the the, the removal of, of of all these uh, natural gases, these the, the shell, and not being replaced with anything. Uh, you replace it with 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 the radioactive material. What's that radioactive material gonna do? It's just gonna it's gonna bore and continue to dig deep deep into the ground, and the land above is gonna collapse on into it. But that's what we're dealing with in Oklahoma every day, every single day. William, if you got like one word of advice from your experience uh, in Stanley Rock for all the people that are campaigning, protesting, working so hard here, what would it be? Don't be afraid. Fear is, fear, fear, fear is what they want you to feel because they know it's easy to put fear into people. It's easy for a government to put fear into people. Whenever you let that fear go and whenever you realize that what I'm doing, whether I live, whether I die, is going to protect future generations then that's the most empowering and most beautiful thing that you can have is just simply just having that love for the people so let go of your fears and just let that love shine and love one another and love the future and that future is up to us to protect ah, maybe want to give you a big hug well. <laughs> thanks a lot William from Standing Rock uh, we're in Lancashire I'm gonna stop there because I'm gonna have to go over to Quadrilla now and um, put this letter in yep, yep. Uh, about uh, some of the uh, allegations against okay, some of the security here. But William, thank you very much. Thank indeed. you guys. Cheers. Yep.